everybody. This book is called Polar Animal Adaptations. Um, it was written by Lisa J. Amstutz. And this book is specifically about animals that live in the North Pole, which is the Arctic, or the South Pole, which is the Antarctic. That means that they live at either the top or the bottom of the Earth where it's very cold. And it's going to tell us what they do to try to stay warm because in those places it is cold all year long. Life at the poles. The North and South Poles are like giant freezers most of the year. Burr. Polar animals have special ways to stay warm and find food in their snowy homes. We call these ways adaptations. Can you say that? Adaptation. What to wear. Some polar animals wear fur coats to keep warm. A musk ox wears two. The bottom coat is soft and warm. The top coat is shaggy and long. The Arctic fox's coat is the warmest of any mammal. When the fox gets chilly, it sits on its furry tail like a cushion. Then it tucks in its nose to stay warm. So it's using its tail like a blanket. Did you know that polar bears have hollow hair? Tube-shaped fur traps heat in the middle. So it's kind of like a straw. All that heat soaks into the bear's black skin. Why black? The dark color is the best at holding in heat. So you can see on its nose here, the fur is a little bit shorter, so you can see the skin a little bit more here. And underneath all of that fur is actually black skin. Snowy owls change colors by the season. Their white winter feathers match snow. Brown summer feathers match plants and rock on the tundra. One of the owl's prey, the lemming, turns colors too. It changes from brown to white, just like the owl. An adult owl eats up to five lemmings each day, if it can find them. So that means that in this case, with the owl and the lemming, the owl is the predator hunting for the lemming, which is the prey in this case. Penguin chicks have fuzzy down feathers to stay extra warm on land. As the chicks become adults, they grow waterproof feathers to hunt in the icy ocean. Another bird, the ptarmigan, grows its own fuzzy slippers. Its feathery feet keep it warm when walking on the cold tundra. So you can see it almost looks like it's wearing fuzzy pants. How else do polar animals stay warm? Blubber. Ring seals have a layer of fat called blubber under their skin. Blubber keeps the seals warm and helps them to float. A bowhead whale's blubber is about 18 inches thick. Bowhead whales live in cold water all year long. Polar body parts. Arctic hares don't need earmuffs to keep their ears warm. Their ears are short and furry. Long ears would get too cold and suffer frostbite. Although their ears are short, Arctic hares are bigger than other hares. Their large body size holds in heat. Many polar animals have big feet to help them walk on snow without sinking. A wolverine's big paws act like snowshoes. A reindeer's wide hooves are also good for walking on snow. More than that, they help the reindeer dig under the snow for food. Walrus tusks look just look like giant teeth, but they aren't made for chewing. Walruses use their tusks to climb out of the water, chop holes in the ice, and fight. You can see they're kind of fighting there. People put antifreeze in their cars. It keeps the water inside from freezing. Atlantic cod make their own antifreeze. It keeps them from turning into frozen fish sticks in the icy ocean. The wood frog has special blood too. As the frog freezes, its heart and breathing stop. 
In the spring, it thaws out again, good as new. Polar animal behavior. The Arctic ground squirrel snoozes through the coldest part of the year. It hibernates for up to eight months. It is one of the few polar animals that hibernates. Many polar animals migrate to warmer places in winter. The Arctic turn flies from the Arctic to the Antarctic each year. Then it flies back. It can fly more than a million miles in its lifetime. From colored feathers to wide hooves, polar animals are experts at living in the cold. Adaptations help polar animals survive in the icy Arctic and Antarctic areas. This chart shows polar adaptations mentioned in this book. Can you remember each animal's adaptation? So the Arctic fox has body covering. These are the types of adaptations. They change their behavior, their body covering, their body parts. Or um, they don't change their body parts, but they might have special body parts that helps them live in the cold. So Arctic ground squirrel, Arctic tern, they change their behavior. Arctic fox and the bowhead whale have a body covering like fur or blubber. And the Arctic hare and Arctic cod have special body parts. So the Arctic hare has shorter ears than other hares. And the, Ar and the Atlantic cod has that special antifreeze inside of it so that it doesn't freeze. Pretty interesting. <laughs>